When did you know, Kevin, you were going to be good at this game? I, I'm not asking about Hall of Fame good, but when did you know you were going to be good? You know, when I started getting recruited in high school, I knew that that I would have an opportunity to play on a big stage, and I did. I went to LSU, but it was probably about my maybe my third year in college where I knew that that I was better than a lot of guys I was playing with and and around and. Um, I developed through college. I played left tackle when I was, was brought in as a center, and then I ended up playing guard. So um, the multiplicity in positions helped me. But you know, I always had football practice and workouts were never a grind. I hate that word. Right. If it's such a grind, I think you need to go find something else. But I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the process. I enjoyed everything about it, all because I wanted to be the best that I could possibly be. And um but it was probably around my third year in college where I knew that that I had the opportunity because I was better than the guys around me. And, um, you know, and then get to the NFL and I just played my game. I never wanted to be the best. I just wanted to be the best that I could be. And I played it with a passion. I played it with a love. And I think when you have the ability to match with the love of the game, then something special really happens. Okay, as the career unfolds, and most players that I talk to through doing this through the years don't like to talk about themselves. I get that going into this question. <laughs> when did you know that you might be Hall of Fame consideration worthy? Um, man, probably I played for the Jets for eight years, and it was probably into my sixth year with the Jets, seventh year maybe. I'd already been to five Pro Bowls, and um, – you know, the, the first I ever heard somebody mention the possibility of the Hall of Fame was around that time. And um, like I said, it was never a goal of mine. I don't think guys that get into the Hall of Fame, their goal is to be a Hall of Famer. Their goal is just to be the best that they can be or maybe even the best in the game. For me, I just wanted to be great at what I did. But I, I did my research and, you know, want to know how many centers were in the Hall of Fame, how many modern day versus old timers. And, and um, I had that list in my locker from that year, probably the 2003 till the end of my career. Wow. Um, never with the goal of trying to get to the Hall of Fame, but just knowing who was there and respecting and honoring the guys that came before me. Um, and then as my career ended, uh, you look, I look back and, you know, the things I accomplished, how, what I individually did to change the position and what changed the way people thought about the center position. That's when I knew that I had a pretty special career and um, that, that I set the bar for a lot of players and a lot of coaches to try to live up to. Who's the guy that you look back on and say, I don't know why I couldn't figure him out? Is there somebody you lined up across from that's like, I, I love competing against him, but I'll tell you what, he got me a few more times than I, I care to remember. No, you know, there's, there, man, there's so many. I think anybody that, that plays this game that looks back and says, I never got got. Yeah. lying to themselves yeah. and lying to everybody else but yeah. you know john randall today and back then i always say he's the best defense lineman i ever played against he played all five positions along the defensive front he ran you know he had a motor that was non-stop and he had a mouth that matched it and um i mean sure he got me a bunch of times but i i got him as well um, i matched up well with guys like that because my athletic ability uh, uh vince wilfork uh, ted Ted Washington were tough guys to play against because I didn't have the size and the power to overpower them. I had to I had to play smart football with those guys. Um, so there, there, I can't say just one guy. I mean, you know, one thing I learned late in my career, Mike Munchak taught me this, is to respect your opponents, but don't give them too much respect because mm. you're out there playing with them. They should respect you just as much. And, uh, and I always felt like if I just go out there and play my game, I, and do what I I dictated how the defense was going to play against me and not the other way around. And um, so to say one guy, I, I can't say that. I, you know, there's guys that got in my head every now and then and guys that I had a particular bent against them. Yeah. yeah. But um, nobody that, that just said, man, I, I don't like playing this guy because I just struggle with them. Enjoy the visit very much. Best of luck with the Hall of Fame announcement, Kevin. Thanks. Thank you very much. You guys take care. God bless. Forks up.